Hey everybody on YouTube, I'm coming to you with the unboxing of the Cream and Cocoa Pie Sweet Box for December 2013, which is the last Cream and Cocoa box of the year. Um, this is supposed to be a kid-friendly box. So um, this is not the hot cocoa box that everybody is used to seeing, but it's similar because it comes with products, which again, offer your skin, for hair, and things like that. So that's what it looks like. Nice small box, and durable box, a reusable box. And this is what it looks like when you open it. And pretty pink tissue paper, rose pink. And then this is the card inside of the box. This is just describing to you what's, in, what's inside of this month's box and a little description of the items. And then on the back, of course, it's telling you thank you for your purchase. And um, where you can get your your uh, sweet pies box, your pie sweet box, excuse me. And also it says to be sure to tag pie sweet box, so hashtag pies sweets box and hashtag cream and cocoa on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram with your products. It says Ariana, aka pie, and the cream and cocoa crew. So on top, that's what's first up there is rock candy i remember rock candy because well in my mind i think this is the candy that you buy in the packages and then when you put it in your mouth it starts to do the crackling and popping i think that's it <laughs> so i think this was really cute um it's bath crystals it's sugar plum fairy dust sprinkle a handful of crystals in your bathtub for soft delicious scented skin and on the card Um, it says Dead Sea Salt Bath Salts. That's the description on the card. And then open this up. Oh, it smells amazing in there. Can you see those? Let me take that out and put that on my hand. Alright. So that's going to be fun for my baby in the bathtub. <laughs> She'll have fun with that. The next item is the chocolate fudge bar, which is a buttery cleansing bar made with soap, raw shea butter, organic cacao, and organic cocoa butter, naturally scented. And that's what it looks like. Ah, oh, that smells really nice. It's really not um, a strong scented soap, but it smells really sweet. It smells nice to me. The next item is the Apple Pie a la Mode Organic Tooth Soap, which is, I think, 0.25 ounces, I believe it's supposed to say. And the description on here says, Apple Cinnamon Flavored Organic Tooth Soap. And that's what it looks like. I'm going to try to open this. Let's try to get that. Okay. Oh, that smells nice. That has, a, um, like a... A uh, forest kind of scent to me, like an outdoorsy, foresty scent. Hmm, it smells really nice though. And that's what it looks like in there. And that's for your teeth. It's a tooth soap. The next item is the peppermint chocolate chip lip taffy. Uh, the card states it's organic fluffed lip balm made with organic cacao liqueur. And that's what it looks like. And then you open it. Mmm, that smells nice. This is what it looks like. It smells really good. Oh! <laughs> it smells good. I smell a little mintiness to it. But more of a chocolate smell. Not too strong though. And that's what that looks like again. And the last but not least is this item. Candy Clouds. Um, it says iced sugar cookie candy clouds, whipped shea butter for hair and body. This looks amazing. And just looking at, first of all, that's what it looks like. It looks so stuffed and fluffy in there. Okay, and then we're gonna open this. All right. Oh, 
Ooh, that was a little hard to open. That smells amazing. Look at that. It smells so good. Mmm. <laughs> this smells really good. I'm going to take a little bit off. Like that. See, just... Oh, that smells nice. And it's like literally melting on my hand. On my finger. And I'm going to rub some into my skin right here. Do you see that? That is beautiful. Look at that shine. Just from that little bit. And it feels so soft and smooth. Yes. I'm loving it. That's nice. So, um... That's my unboxing video of the Cream and Cocoa Pies Sweets Box. And this is the kid-friendly version of the Hot Cocoa Box. Well, similar to it, right? So that you get a Pies Sweet Box, if you did, that you get it for your child, that you get it for yourself, that you buy it as a gift to another child, um, that you like the products that are included. And how did you feel about the whole shipping issue and things like that. I know a lot of people have different opinions of it. Some people felt like we should have been more patient and others felt like I, how I felt, which was we should have gotten our things in a timely fashion and have been communicated with just a little bit better or much better, let me say that, rather much better than the communication which we received. Um, other than that, I really do love the products that um, we received um, and I'm happy with my, my box. Bye. Before we do the unboxing, I wanted to get into a little something about the shipping and how that went. I was very highly upset about how the shipping went. I didn't um, shop Black Friday. I didn't shop Cyber Monday. What I did do was I shopped. I shopped before and I shopped a little bit afterwards. And um, my packages were supposed to have been here maybe like this week right here from the 17th on. I didn't receive anything. I'm just receiving my package today and this is only one of the packages I ordered, which I ordered most of the packages, I mean of items, and I should have had all of my items already, I shouldn't be having to wait like this, and um, that's not the only issue, the major issue was the communication between the owner and the customer, like, if I'm contacting you and I'm telling you like, oh I don't have my item, my tracking is not updating, and you know there's an issue, why didn't you contact us, the customer, why must we take it upon ourselves to contact you and... This is something you knew, like, was taking place. Why would we need to contact you about that? And then on top of that, you giving us lame excuses, but then you updating your statuses or whatever, like, you know, you heard this is that and the third, but then on the other hand, your sister is telling us that, you know, you getting things out, you working hard, you doing this, you doing that and the third, but all along, I'm saying you hurt, you're not doing anything. So it's not to say that we discrediting that you being hurt or anything like that, but at the same time, then why is your assistant saying that you're doing so much if you're really not able to because of what happened? And then you're not even, you know, really putting that up on your um your business page, which this pertains to your business because I ordered from Cream and Cocoa. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, yeah, I'm supporting the owner, but I ordered from Cream and Cocoa. So I want to know what's going on. This is my money. And I really don't like what happened. So anyway, we're going to do this unboxing and... That's about, you know, that's that.